Hello everybody, I am Allison Zuccaro and I am going to show you today how to upload artwork onto the Stalls website for a flex style design. So if you notice on the web page here, we're on uh, stalls.com and in the very top right hand corner, we have this upload artwork button. As long as you are logged in, when you click to your account, um, if you're logged in, when you click this button, it'll take you into the artwork uploader. And I'm gonna walk you through step-by-step step how to upload artwork for FlexStyle. So let's click on artwork uploader. Okay, and you're gonna land at this page. It's gonna give you some really nifty information. Um, there's a cost estimator here if you don't have artwork ready to upload and you just want to get a price you can go there um, there's a download user guide that you can download to help you walk to help walk you through step by step but it's pretty intuitive so i don't necessarily think um, that's necessary but let me show you how easy it is and then you can judge for yourself as you scroll down, the first thing that it's going to ask you to do is browse to attach your file. You can drag and drop files too. So if you have multiple windows open and you have a file on a, another screen that you want to drag over, you can do it and drop it here as well. We typically see customers browse to attach. We accept many, many file types. We accept um, AI, EPS, CDR, SVG. You can see the list PDF. We also accept your raster image files, GIFs, JPEGs, PNGs. It is important to note that we pre prefer vector artwork for everything that we do as far as upload goes. It will save you money across products. We do charge raster image fees for products um, that, for some products that if you upload raster artwork. So if you have vector, give us the best vector file that you have. We prefer you send it to us in its native language. So if you used Adobe to make it, send it in an Adobe format. If you used Corel to create it, send it in Corel format, you know, however. All right, so with that being said, I'm gonna click this browse to attach button. And when I click browse to attach, it's going to go into my computer's file system, wherever you normally would go to find files. And I'm going to choose one here that I have, and I'm just going to highlight it and click open. And it's going to start to upload it, and you'll see the status bar. We're analyzing it for detail as far as size goes and contents to find out, is it raster or is it vector? And it's also going to give you a thumbnail image there, and that's that last check mark, to show you what the design is. And this is just a really great fail safe to let you know, yes, I chose the right piece of artwork. Far too many times uh, we do the artwork and we forget the name that we saved it to or we choose the wrong one. So this is, will definitely help to eliminate that. As we scroll down, the next step is going to be to choose your service type. And throughout the upload, we have these really great uh, information icons. If you hover over them, it will pop out a menu that will give you a description of everything that's entailed here. So if you're not quite sure what custom service type you want to look at, you can click on the eye and it'll give you a drop down. We're going to go with the flex style and the flex style is our dimensional emblems that gives us that great full color design with all the lift and texture. After we choose flex style, then the options are available as to what finish we want. And again, there's that wonderful eye that kind of explains to you what the different textures are. We're going to choose the flat heat applied version today. So we have the bevel, we have the dome, we have the flat, and we have the texture. And that all relates to the finish of the actual emblem when it's completed and the different levels that are available. So we're going to do a flat heat applied on this one. And notice as I click through when I select things, there's it's going to highlight in orange and it's going to put a check mark next to it. So that's how I know that I've picked it. The next thing that we're going to ask you is what kind of product is it being applied to? This um, is a fail safe. This is just to help you 
throughout the process and any products and services that you order from us to ensure that you are getting the right product for the right substrate. We don't want you to get something that's not going to work on a nylon or a pre-shrunk cotton. So um, in all of our products, we ask this question. You'll notice here we have cotton and cotton poly blends available. That's what the flex style is applicable to. So we're going to choose 100% polyester. We're going to choose a dark colored fabric. And again, this helps me select media. The clear media has some clear uh, options to it, may not always necessarily look great on a dark garment. So we kind of rule that out for you when we pick dark. So the next choice that we have is what media do we want? And like I said, in the flex style options, we have three different options. We have clear, matte, and metallic. So matte is your full color, standard finish colors. Your metallic is your full color metallic or chrome look. And then your clear is a clear media um, that works really good when you have some really fine detail and need to have some sort of outline on it. And it's kind of glossy, um, a little bit glossier than the others. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose matte for my choice on this one. And the next thing that it's going to do is going to ask me for my design details. And so you can see I have this Austin, Texas logo. I have, this is a vector file, and I am going to select what size I want, because we always want to know what your finished size is. If you upload vector or raster artwork, our analyzer is going to size things proportionately. So if I put in a three inch width here, for instance, it's automatically going to compute my size to 2.9 inch, inch, inches high. And this is vector artwork, so that will be very accurate. In order for your raster artwork to be accurate here, we highly recommend that you have it on a transparent background or that you make uh, the background behind it the exact size of the image. So if you had a square behind this Austin, Texas, you would want it to be the size of the, the shape of the design, not you know an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, because that's what the raster image is going to size. So it's better to um, make sure that that background is the actual size of the image. So I'm going to put a design name in here. This is my design name, whatever I want it to be. All of these are going to go into your artwork dashboard. You'll be able to search by this design name um, and some of the other details that you enter in here. So make this something that's gonna mean something to you. Um, some people use POs, some people have design numbers that they use and in their internal ordering, that's fine. But whatever it is you know, gonna mean to you is what you're gonna wanna put here. Okay, then we have special instructions. This is if you want to make any edits to this. So let's say we want to remove this green line that's in here for some reason. We could just put remove the green line. Um, or if we wanted to change the color of Austin from red to the same gold as Texas, we could note that here as well. If you have a question um, or if you want a texture or anything that you want to tell us about this piece of artwork, this is where you want to note it in the um, special instructions. Everything that you do with Flexile is going to be reviewed by a custom representative before any proofing fees are paid and before any proof is created. So. Um, it's important to note that because upload your artwork and get everything in here and then we'll review it and we can have a conversation with it before we go to the next step. Step number seven is going to outline pricing for you. So it's going to tell you based on the size that we've uploaded and selected here what your per piece price is going to be all the way up to 10,000 pieces or 100,000 rather, which is very nice. It's also going to show you what your setup fees will be um, and give you an idea of how that works out. Okay, and then we have that little eye there as well. Now I want you to notice if we change the size, let's say we change the size to two inch width and the size goes down, my price is also going to reflect that. So this is interactive and as you change things, it's gonna change it. 
It's not necessary for you to put a quantity in here, but if you want to see what your overall total is going to be for the whole entire piece of artwork, or you just want to be able to have someone pick this up later on and order it when it's completed and approved, you can put your piece quantity in here. So notice if I put 50 pieces, it's automatically going to calculate for me 50 pieces at $3 is 150. And then you'll add your $26 art setup fee here. And we can see my total estimated price for 50 of this is $176. Lastly, and probably one of the most important informations here is the contact details. So this is how we're going to get in touch with you should we have any questions relating to your artwork. So please include the name of the person that we need to speak with about this design. Many of our customers have one store login so that they can see everything in the artwork dashboard, but they have several people working in there. So we want to know who is this design related to? Who should we ask for if we need to call and speak with someone? Um, first name and last name's great. First name's good too. Um, as long as you don't have, you know, eight Yolandas at your store, Yolanda should suffice in this instance. Email address is going to be where you want to receive your um, automated notifications and any email communication with this. As soon as you hit submit artwork on this, you're going to get an automated email that says we've received your artwork. Throughout the whole entire process, every step of the way, when we're reviewing it, when there's um, the art proof is completed, when it's ready to pay the art fees, all of that you will get notifications on. So we need to know the best email address for that and then the best contact phone number. So if we get into a situation where we have a question on your design that's going to be best suited by having a conversation with you, we would like to know the best contact information for you. So um, if you are sharing a login, it's really important that you put all of that detailed information here. Once you have all of that completed, um, you can, this is not going to let me go any further because I haven't entered an email. So I'm going to enter a valid email address here. And then you are done and your orange button will click submit artwork. Once you click that submit artwork button, this design is going to go into um, a customer service representative. Custom reps are going to review your artwork. They're going to contact you with any questions, any concerns, any recommendations on the artwork. Um, once that is complete and it's gone through review with the flex style, there's a $26 art setup fee that's paid prior to proof creation. So you will be, you will get an automatic notification to pay that fee. Once you pay that fee, it goes to our art designers to create the actual proof for you. It takes about two business days, but once the proof comes back, you get this really great proof that actually gives you some three-dimensional renderings of what the actual artwork's going to look like. So here's an actual flex style proof that you can see, and I'll zoom in so you can see it. But it's really going to show you kind of where the, the raised um, and flat areas are, and it's going to give you, you can download this to show to your customer, but it's going to give you the full, all of the detail about its size, so on and so forth. So I hope that we have shown you pretty simply, like I said, it's very intuitive, should be very easy to go through. And again, remember, there are no fees that are going to be assessed on the upload with FlexStyle. Um, this is just to get it to us and have us take a look at it. And then you'll get that proof back. And then you can decide from that point if you want to go forward with a production order, if you want to do a sample run first. So um, I really hope that you give this a try and can have some confidence that um, this is a really easy to do and get us your artwork so we can get some designs back to you. <laughs>